I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> I hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm excited to show you my latest project, an Arduino-based device that helps you remember cooking instructions in the kitchen. If someone forgets the food left on the stove, this device will remind them about the cooking on the stove. So stay tuned until the end of the video. Well, sometimes my wife leaves the food on the stove in the kitchen and gets busy with her phone, which makes her forget about the food she's cooking. As a result, the food often gets burnt. Oh no! Then I started thinking, and that's when I came up with this idea. First, we'll need an Arduino to act as the brain of this system. Here, we're using an Arduino Nano. Then an ultrasonic sensor for detect motion or object. A 5 volt buzzer for alarm. Then I need some push button to control the system. But I am not going to use this, I will use this tinny one. To power up this system I need 3.7 volt battery. But I will use this one. Then I need a boost converter to boost 3.7 volt to 5 volt. Because the Arduino runs on 5 volts, and at the same time, it will also charge the battery. Some cable and connectors, also a dot type veriboard. Let's make it. Wait, I'm going to share a secret with you at the end of this video. I hope you'll stick around until then. First, we'll assemble all the parts onto the Vero board in a convenient layout. We'll cut out as much space as we need for this. Then, you'll need to break it exactly like this. This is the schematic diagram. Here, the Arduino is powered with 5 volts, which we've obtained from the boost converter. The ultrasonic sensor is powered with 5 volts also, and its echo pin is connected to the Arduino's D11 pin, while the trigger pin is connected to the D10 pin. I've connected the negative terminal of the buzzer to the Arduino's D7 pin, and the positive terminal to the 5 volt line. Then, I connected switch 1 to pin D2, which when pressed will keep the alarm off until an object is detected. Switch 2 is connected to D3, and pressing it will turn off the alarm for 3 minutes. Switch 3 is connected to D4, and pressing it will silence the alarm for 5 minutes. Lastly, switch 4 is connected to D5, and pressing it will turn off the alarm for 10 minutes. Like this way. I've connected the other terminal of all the switches to ground. Now, I'll solder all the parts one by one. But be careful not to burn your hands. And don't forget to subscribe. This is the final layout of our system, isn't it? Looks good. Let's move to the programming part. Here, all the pins are connected according to the schematic diagram. The ultrasonic sensor will detect any object that comes within 50 centimeters. You can increase or decrease this value to change its range. Additionally, the timing for each switch can be increased or decreased by modifying the value in the function switch1 cooldown time equal millis. Now it's time to upload the code. If you still don't know how to upload a program to Arduino, you'll find many tutorials on YouTube. Now we need an enclosure for the entire system. I will design the enclosure, then 3D print it and place the complete system inside. Let's design it.
Let's 3D print the enclosure. Here I forgot to make hole in the top part of the box for ultrasonic sensor. <laughs> anyway, I've made some design changes and finally this is our enclosure. Now let's set it up. Thus, this is the great device that the whole world has been waiting for. Now it's time to test the device. I've attached it to the entry door of the kitchen using double-sided tape. After turning on the device, an alarm will sound. Then, you need to press the master switch to turn off the alarm. Let's say I'm going to cook now. I'm leaving the kitchen for some reason. I've forgotten how many minutes I'll be gone. No problem. As I exit, it will detect my motion and sound the alarm. At that point, I can press the switch. For how many minutes I'll be away, I pressed for three minutes. Then it alerted me after three minutes, and I pressed the master switch to turn off the alarm. I went back to the kitchen to continue cooking. This was the functionality of my device, which I hope will help make your lives easier. Now it's time to reveal my secret. Secret number one, she is not my wife. Secret number two, this is not even me. What the f 